Hello, thanks for tuning in. I am Carolyn, and today I want to show you five different ways that you can do your side plank when you're doing your own practice, whether you're at home or in a yoga class. Okay, so let's start just by talking about how do I get into my side plank. <clears throat> so for me personally, I like to start from a plank position. Okay, so my two hands are on the floor. <clears throat> I straighten out my legs behind me and I find this plank. So here I have my shoulders right on top of the wrist, but actually for the side plank, I even like to have my hands just kind of one tiny bit forward, like one or two inches more forward. Okay, and then from here, I'm gonna roll onto one side. So I'll take my outer edge of the right foot onto the floor. Okay, now the modified version I'm gonna show you first is my left foot is going to step at the center of the mat. So my left toes are pointing in the direction of the left side. Okay, from here, I push my right hand into the floor, lift my left arm up. Okay, so this is the first version of side plank that I wanted to show you. So with my right hand, I'm pushing down into the floor, and this will be way easier than the side plank that I'm going to show you next, because here I have three point of contact on the floor where I can share the weight of my body evenly. Okay, so that's version one. Now, taking that classic side plank when you're feeling a bit more strong, keep pushing that right hand into the floor so that the hips don't drop, okay? My hips lift, I'm pushing, and now I'm gonna stack my left leg whoop, on top of the right, okay? So two legs squeezing in together, this is that classic side plank. I'm still pushing down through my right hand. Okay, now version three I'm gonna show you, taking the tree leg with that top leg, okay? So I bend the knee, place the hand on the ankle so that I can place my left foot in my inner thigh and then send that left hand back up, right hand pushing down, I lift my hips as I push. All right, and then before I show you the next one, let me take a break. <laughs> I should probably switch arms, okay. So far I showed you three, here goes number four. So number four, <clears throat> my knee will still be bent, just like I did in that tree, but the hips are gonna open a little bit more and I'll show you how. All right, standing up in my plank, roll to the side, okay, one arm up, my bottom hand is pushing into the floor, hips stay lifted. All right, now I lift this one, I bend the knee, I'm gonna reach for the inside of my knee. Okay, so as my left hand is pushing into the floor, I'm lifting my hips, and my knee is pointing up to the ceiling, okay? And I wanna keep this leg active, I do that by pointing my toes. And then notice my foot that's touching the floor. I'm starting to spin it a bit so that more of the bottom of the foot is pushing down. So it's not just the edge of my foot anymore. I'm really starting to lift my hips more and then I can get the bottom of my foot to push into the floor. Okay, so that's number four. Now number five is going to require a bit of flexibility or a lot of flexibility around right, the backside and the inner legs. So you'll probably want to be warmed up before you get into that one. All right, let me show you from this side because my left leg is more open. <laughs> okay, rolling onto one side. Got one arm up. I'm going to lift the top leg. Okay, I'm pushing into my bottom hand so my hips lift. Okay, I send this top leg up, catching the big toe. And then I push into my right hand so my hips lift. If I can, I'm gonna try my best to point the left toes. Last but not least, if your balance is okay, looking up at the foot and at the hand, okay? So I'm pointing the left toes a lot, pushing down with my right hand, and my chest is gonna slightly open upwards, okay? And ideally, you come down with more control than I just did, but I just did five side planks, exhausting. Okay, so I hope that gives you a little bit more variety for your practice next time that you're working on your side plank. If you find that doing the side plank puts a lot of pressure in the wrist and it's not comfortable right now, you can also do all of those variations, but on your elbows so that you don't put the pressure in your wrist, okay? So in my plank, roll to the side. So what I would do is the hand that's on the bottom, I'll slide it in a bit, okay? And then I can push the whole forearm and the hand into the floor. And all the variations that I showed you, you can do, right? Number one, number two, number 
three. What was number four? Number four and number five. Have fun. <laughs>